to get to old Sam. You just the house, it's all you are. what this is, damn foolishness. Shh. Ain't nothing. Just gotta come in this time of day. Yeah. Never came inside this place before. Yeah. Some... Newcomer. Oh, damn. Clean up all this sloppy old mess. Who's there? You come all out now. Just better. <laughs> we better be gone. Oh, we the hell out of here. Coming down now. Come on now. Nothing.
go, Mr. Arnold. Sorry this took so long. What seemed to be the problem, Mr. Decker? All the usual background check, you understand. Even with your length of experiences in drug rehabilitation, some of the board members had certain uh, questions. We were sure your center would be a beneficial operation, but your foundation was so new. So uh, we decided to take a more cautious approach. If uh, you had had an affiliation with an organized uh, church, uh, I regard most organized churches as organized hypocrisy. Oh, that's a rather strong opinion, isn't it? And we both know that weak opinions serve no purpose, don't we? <laughs> yes, that's very true. was supposed to be at us out front. Dan! Maybe he's inside. Possible. Probably found a bottle. Sam! Sam, are you in there? Sam! Oh, 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 please come in. Please come in. Sam! No lights? I'm afraid not. Most of the wiring gave out years ago. But that's the only drawback. Let me fix this. Here. There. Here, let me fix this. There we are. Uh, there haven't been any permanent residents here for years. Old Mr. Vargas, who built this, he died uh, uh, in his 30s. <laughs> Old at 30? <laughs> Just a figure of speech. <laughs> and the stories are old. Man becomes old. It said his hair turned white. And only glimpses of him were ever seen after his 30th birthday. That was before the war, the Civil War, that is. After that, it was converted to a conservatory for young women. And the music rooms were added then. But uh, the school folded. This was the main dining room. <laughs> Cozy. <laughs> it was vacant for several years before the county took it over. Then it came under the supervision of the Redevelopment Bureau at the turn of the century. There's been no one in here all that time? Yours was the only inquiry my office processed in quite a bit. Beautiful. <laughs> the Indians gave this spot a wide berth. There were sulfur pits and steam pools. Valley of the Devils. The legends called it. That's why Vargas built it, so they say. Built it right over a fumarole. Wanted the heat. Needed the mineral baths. Who knows? It is beautiful. But it's so strangely desolate. Didn't make much difference. Geothermal activity stopped just about the time the house was finished. Just dried out. Like he put a seal on it. Well, big enough. I don't know. It's going to take an awful lot of work. You have plenty of volunteers. There's nearly 200 rooms in the main building, and the caretaker's housing in the back. Sam's not too reliable, though. I don't think you'll want to keep him on. Every time I need him, he's off someplace else. But that'll be no big problem for you. You've got all the volunteers you need. I think everything is just going to be fine. It was vacant for several years before the county took it over. Then it came out of the supervision of the redevelopment bureau. Uh, at the end of the century, of course, there was some opposition to your taking the place, you know. But that's not much of anything. Carolyn, what are you doing? Yes, these 18 hour days are getting done. What's down here? More rooms, loaded with rooms. You mentioned uh, some opposition, Mr. Decker. 
Well, you always get that, no matter what you want to do. Some of the people around here felt the house should be left vacant. There was even a movement uh, one time to have the house torn down. But the Vargas house is a historical landmark. Why would they want to tear the house down? Oh, noises and accidents in around the place. Everything one normally associates with overactive imaginations. Stories get started about any old house that's been vacant for a while. What kind of stories? Oh, just the stories. Just old wives' tales. Are you all right? I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're, You're fine. fine. You could have been hurt. I'm terribly no, sorry, Mr. Decker. Don't no need to apologize. It wasn't your fault. Would you stop fussing, huh? Am oh, I am sure. I bleeding? Are you sure you're all right? Would you stop fussing? It's that serious. Oh. You just let me get that down, uh -huh. all right? Mr. Decker, can I give you a piece of advice? Never marry a doctor. In spite of all of your uh, stories, I think we're ready to go ahead with this right away. Oh, excellent, excellent, Mr. Arnold. We can stop by my office and sign the lease agreement. Fine. Fine. Disturb not he who is here held in chains. I think from now on, any stories about this place will have a whole different ring. Carolyn? Physics are logical, positive, constant. Not so the world of psychology, but light, concentrated, powerful. Light in the form of knowledge, compassion, understanding, can open up a mind, or if misused, can destroy it, just as surely as that laser disintegrated its target. Oh, by the way, I'd like to thank you all for your dedication this semester. Some of you, by accident or by design, will be back next semester. My thesis is finished. By then, I'll have my PhD in a shingle, so you won't have to listen to me anymore. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've learned something worthwhile here. Have a nice summer. Very well done, Professor. Oh, I should call you doctor, shouldn't I? How about your excellency? Now, that has a nice <laughs> ring to it. <laughs> it's got something. Oh, by the way, CJ called this afternoon, and we're to be out there at 9 o'clock in the morning. They got the place? Yep. That's fantastic. You can count on the job this summer. Oh, great, finally. I cleared it with the dean's office, so, my lady, you'll be getting uh, three credits for your work <laughs> this summer at the center. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, please, Miss Belvin, not so familiar, you don't mind? Where should we go? Your place or mine? You're crazy. You know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not a very helpful thing for a psychologist to say. You're still crazy, mm -hmm. but you are a beauty. And I have you all to myself all summer. Oh, wait a minute. You've already got the job. What else do you want? It's got to be something. I'd hate to ask. You're a smart boy. <laughs> I need this summer, too. It's the best possible practical demonstration of what CJ's doing in his field. And it's what I want to do in hey, mine. Hey, hey, hey. What? Dinner tonight. Professor. Right. Celebrate. Mm hmm Champagne. Mm hmm Um, uh, my place. Mm-hmm. My place. Your place. <laughs> Run up the rain pipe on the second floor later on. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you helped make great, Miss CJ. Hey, what the storm's going up, you know, might give us some trouble. How you doing, CJ? Good, good. What do you think of this place? I tell you, 
Nothing that ain't big, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Sam, let you in? Sam? Sam who? Caretaker. I didn't see no caretaker around here. Did you look around the back? Yeah, I've been back there. I saw nobody. Well, I guess Decker was right. Sam's reliability quotient seems a bit flawed. DJ, can I have the keys, please? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Hey, watch your step there. Think you get us some lights today? Well, I'm gonna give it a shot, CJ. Uh, the generator ain't working too good, and the storm coming around and give us some more problems, you know? Yeah, well, I don't want to push you too hard. Not at the prices I'm paying you. Oh, you know it. Wouldn't be for you, my brother would be on ice. See anybody wandering around this place that looks like a caretaker? Saw what? I thought I saw it move. You thought you saw it move? Oh, I don't see any difference. Light, the shadows in the room. I don't know. I, I guess it had to be, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it had to be. <laughs> hey, hey where's the welcoming committee? Hello, hello, hello! Anybody home? DJ! Hello. Hey, hey, hey! hey. Uh, munchies. Yeah, very <laughs> funny, Pete. Oh, oh right. God, Pete, when are you gonna grow up? Well, what's the matter with you? That joke's a classic. Mm, and so are you. <laughs> hey, Dwight, I want you to meet some people. Well, what do you think, huh? Oh, excuse me, oh, well. this place is enormous. Yeah, really, what do we need all this space for? Well, let me put it this way. The price was right. Okay, fine, we'll take it. <laughs> Dwight, I'd like you to meet Mary Harper. And this is Felicia Allen. We're looking up here. What's the name? Mary. They're in our drug rehabilitation program. And our resident cook, Pete Brooks. Uh, you forgot someone. Oh, Kaiser here. Hi, dude. What's he doing? Oh, not much, but when he talks, everyone listens. I hope his house broke. Hey, Raymond. Hey, CJ. Dwight, this is Raymond Guy. It looks like he brought a new recruit. That we do. My friend and student, Miss Laurie Belvin. Hello. Hello. Better and better. How you doing? Oh, uh -huh. one of those guys, huh? Yeah, Laurie, welcome. Now, the first thing we have to do, obviously, is clean the place. Oh, bummer. Not everything at once. That'll take us a month. So we'll start with a few bedrooms. And I think we gotta do the dining room. Gotta do the bathrooms. And we'll do the kitchen. Risk of sounding like a male chauvinist, I think the lady should do the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 none of that. <laughs> no, if the ladies are displeased with their assignment, they can volunteer to help Pete and I, because we're going to clean the toilets. <laughs> oh, great. Up to my ass in toilets. <laughs> what about lights? Don't we need some lights? Oh, we got the cleaning stuff in town. Good. Hey, I hate to bring up a good time rap here, boss, but uh, I got to get back to work. We'll be here forever. I hope all the fireplaces work. Yeah, the fireplaces all work, and so Felicia can relax. Dwight, what about the lights? I don't think the city's going to connect us for about a week. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, we got a pretty good-looking crew here. We should get some work out of them. Huh, Felicia Fox? Mary Sunshine? Ray Melancher, you good for something, huh? <laughs> 
Uh, Gil should have a first generator fired up by now. We'll get some work lights in here. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to have three generators working. You know, we're starting the ground floor now, and uh, listen, there'll be cables strung out all over. You know, so you guys try not to step on them. Don't go chewing on them, things like that. You know? That's about it, boss. No, okay. Yeah, if we're gonna get this place in shape, it's gonna take a lot of work. We really gotta get our acts together. That's I appreciate it. Get this comedy. Get this done. This place really gives me the creeps. been vicious in his whole life. I don't understand. Well, at least he didn't get his teeth into you. There. I think you're gonna be okay. Well, we looked everywhere, Mary. I don't think you could have gotten out of the house, so we'll find him. Who made him behave that way? Well, something frightened him. He's never acted that way before in his whole life. I've had him since he was a puppy. Well, if he's hiding, when he gets over it, he'll come out. Yeah, you're going to be all right, huh? Yeah. Um, why don't I go upstairs and do some work or... No, no, I don't think you should. Why don't you just lie down and rest for a while? No, it'd really be good for my head to get away from Sure? You. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Come on, Mary. Let's go find something to do. Don't worry. 
about it. We'll find it. CJ, this place frightens me. What do you mean? I feel there's... There's something in here. What? I don't know. There's something... Something evil. Oh, Carolyn, that thing with the dog can be explained very simply. Oh, I don't think it can. Uh, Dogs react to things we don't know anything about. Now, you saw him down there. Yeah. Well, you can't honestly believe he was just afraid of the dog. Yes, I can, because I know that's all it could be. Oh, CJ, I'm frightened. Carolyn, I know an incident like this can frighten anybody. But for a doctor, you have a very, very vivid imagination. You know that? You all right? Mm -hmm. Well, I go crack the whip. something dropped. Well, you started a fire. Good. What's this? Diary of Emilio Vargas. <laughs> you must have led a very eventful life. The pages are all blank. soul would set the holy seal upon the gate. What, what is this? Shall guard, shall guard thy place in life and death till time is no more that no man will set loose the beast within. I saw him. You saw who? The man who built this house. house was an eccentric who's been dead for more than a century. Now, look, this is an interesting book, but that's all it is. It's an interesting old document. It's for the fire, Raymond or Dwight or one of the other workmen probably started. This sounds weird, but I think there's something here. And I think what he's trying to tell us. What, what, what who's trying to tell us? 
We're being warned to get out. Well, I can take a hint. storm before it's done. Yeah. Oh. Oh, is my back killing me? God. Why are these bars here? I don't know. I guess, uh, keep students in, probably. I don't like it. I think it's really weird. Give me a hand, huh? something that's, that's personal, and I really didn't know how to begin. So I'm, I guess I'm just going to ask you, how did you get into this group? Let me show you something. You see that? Those freckles? CJ got me off the horse. He saved my life. That answer your question? Yeah. Damn funny asshole, then you get your own self down. Come on, Lori, let this this fool help himself. Help him! Hey, man, hey, man come on! I really am sorry. Oh, Felicia, would you help me down? Come on! CJ, you're not going down in the basement, are you? I'm afraid I can't bring the furnace up here. Please, wish you wouldn't. If you see any ghosts, I'll tell you. In about 15 minutes. Well, do I have enough time to take another look for Kaiser? I don't want him staying in this place by himself in mine. Yeah, sure. We'll wait for you. Uh, take somebody with you, though, will you? Okay. Oh, Felicia! Ray. Will you come yeah. to me for a minute? Sure. Well, what conditions would there have to be, say, in a house like this, to cause the appearance of figures? Okay, if you were a dog, where would you go? You trying to be funny, lady? No, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to be logical about this. Well, logic's got nothing to do with it. I don't even think we should be trying to figure out what scared him so bad in the first place. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, then what do you think it was? I think it was that dumbass Pete if he hadn't been in the same room no. with us. No, you should have seen the trick he pulled on us. Scared that little old girl half to death. Him and his practical jokes. Actually, I shouldn't be so hard on him, though. You know, he really does come through when it counts. I just hope he just doesn't pull that trick on the wrong dude and end up spending the rest of his life trying to yank his head out of his hind end. Hey! <laughs> what is this? Some kind of... Dumb waiter or something, I guess. Wait. Geyser?
Kaiser? Get out of here. Don't 
Don't you know that? Don't Gloria. you see that? We're locked Gloria. in. Gloria. Look around. We're locked in. We're Wait, not going to get out. Right. We're not going to get out. Wait. Look at him. We're not going to get out. Shut up. Look at me. It's all right. <laughs> Darling, it's all right. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. Well, I think you're going to be all right. But you better rest a bit, okay? Carol, what is happening in this house? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, you hit your head pretty hard, so... I think you better not move around too much. I don't think you have a fracture, but uh, you might have a slight concussion, so just take it easy, all right? Okay. Thank you. I'll come back and see you in a while. All right. Dwight's dead. The other man's body will be found in the kitchen. And they're all locked in here. Those are the facts. Does anybody have a logical explanation for what's happened? Okay. Now, suppose that over the years, this house could soak up some of the natural power around it. Uh, I mean, the atmospheric conditions, like some of the ones that exist outside today. Now, that power could suddenly be released. There has to be more to it than that. Well, maybe there is, but my little theory is as good as anything I've heard so far. I think it does have something to do with the storm. What? I don't know. Great. That's not much of a theory, either. Well, it, it could have, couldn't it? I mean, doors won't open. Class, it doesn't break. Well, you know that static electricity does incredibly weird things sometimes, Raymond. You know that. Could that have been what made Kaiser go crazy? No, it's not the storm. It's something else. Now, how do you know that? Well, I don't know. But I think the key to all of it is in the diary. Carolyn, what diary? I found an old diary in the study. And all the pages were blank, except one. And that was a... a riddle. No, it was a verse. And I think it must be a warning of some kind. How do you know that? Well, I've seen flashes of this figure. I have. It's just a shape, almost. But I have seen it. I saw it just over there. And he waved me into the study. And, and there was the diary. And I've seen other things, too. Are they, uh, visions? I don't know what they are. They're flashes of something. There must have been some great conflict in this house. Between what? Good and evil? You mean between God and the devil? I don't know. Well, you can all sit here and discuss theology if you want. I'm going to try to find a way out of here. Hold on, CJ. I'm coming with you.
Shouldn't I go get the others? I'll try it first. If I make it, then you can bring the rest of them up. You? Well, with all due respect, Doctor, uh, I think I should be going over the side first. I can make it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he can, but well, we don't know how much weight this stuff can take. Well, I hate to mention it, but uh, you could afford to lose a few pounds. Look, Pete, you're my responsibility. I brought you all into this. I'm not going to risk your life. Nobody pulled a gun on me. But I came out here on my own. Face it, Doctor, I'm 20 years younger than you. Oh, Doc. You don't have to prove anything to me, all right? Huh?
tried, but there was nothing I could do. First Dwight, then the man in the kitchen, now Pete. This house is trying to kill us all. Oh, God, it's not the house. It's something in the house. Well, that's unfortunate. Because we're in here. The wind came up and the storm got worse. And, uh, Well, I, 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 I tried, but he, but he, he fell. And I'm sorry. It was my fault. I, it was a stupid thing to try. Couldn't it just have been the lightning hitting the cable? Yeah. Yeah, it had to be that. What do you mean it had to be that? There's some other force working here, and I think it's about time you admitted it. it. You were always the first one to look for a new answer, and I think this is one hell of a good time to start. It had to be the lightning. Nothing has to be anything here. All right, All right that's easy for you to say. And then you follow it up with nothing but hollow theories based on your own Overactive imagination. And where did I get my overactive imagination? I sat on my dead ass in your psych class for five years. You rammed it down my throat every day. Wait, oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just that everything you ever accomplished was done by exploration, taking chances, and imagination. And if I didn't believe that, if, if I didn't believe in you, I wouldn't be here. And neither would anyone else. So don't tell me now that it was a bunch of high-minded bullshit, because I know better. I know better. And so do you. I guess so. Uh, I guess imagination will have to work for us here. I agree, Professor. Well, what do you know? The generator's still working. Take a look at that. Damn teeth are almost smooth. Yeah, ground them right off. It's almost as though this door was petrified. Well, Dwight must have had a heavier blade. Where's the tool case? In the kitchen. I'll get it. Carolyn? Carolyn? I don't know how we're going to get out of here. Come on. CJ, do you remember what Mr. Decker said about this house? The legends, the sulfur pits? Yes, I remember. He said they dried up, that all the disturbances ended when the house was built. I think Vargas knew what he was doing. Oh, Carolyn, Haven't Decker you noticed that since the house closed in on us, the whole place stinks of sulfur? Look, I can only fight what I believe exists. Oh, God! That saw's not going to work. Nothing is going to work. Maybe it's not. The lightning rods. Lightning. I saw lightning rods on every peak in this house when we drove in this morning. If we still have enough of Dwight's cable left to reach from the collectors to these bars, maybe we can... Create an energy field. Generate enough heat to try to bend them. CJ, that's not going to work. Would it hurt to try? No.
of evidence. How can I help? Uh, get me a stick, a little piece of wood, anything. The chance that he, he could lose it. Oh, God. It's all right. Oh, CJ. Oh, it's God. All right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh. Gotta try to get some rest. This entire place will light up like a Christmas tree. That should get a little attention, if nothing else. Oh, Jesus Christ, Raymond, what makes you think somebody can break in if we can't even get out? Little chance we're taking. Red! We're in here! CJ, do you have any ideas how we can get out of here? No logical ones, I'm afraid. Where's Mary's body? I, uh, put it in the entranceway by the stairs. The dog was there, but Mary's body's gone.
found this in the basement, but I don't remember bringing it up here. What was it? It was there on the floor. Vargas showed me. Vargas. Why am I the only one that sees it? You believe in God? I covered all this in my classes. The psychology of religion. Folk tales, legends. The idea of some supreme universal force endlessly at war against devils and demons. There's something as intangible as a human soul. I never believed any of it. I made cocktail party jokes about it. I can't believe I'm worth all this. There's no one in the world exactly like you. What about you? And Raymond and Felicia and the others. Aren't they unique? You are the one he wants. Why me? Why me? I don't know. Oh, Vargas is trying to help us, I know. There has to be a key to this prison. from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. What's all that supposed to mean? It's Satan's return from the depths, revelations. The devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand yes. years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison.
You won't throw the switch. I'll fix that connection. It's all right. We've got enough. No! I'll hook it up. I want out of here! All right, hurry up, though. The storm's at its height right now. Just take me a second. Hey, hurry! The innocent caretaker to force you away. You would not heed my warnings. No, no. I sealed the pit. And you released the evil. I didn't know. I didn't know. He is in your hands. Feel the pit. Return the beast. Do not disturb this place again. Oh, oh, Carolyn! Oh, Carolyn Vargas, oh, come back! Oh, Carolyn! Oh, I need to know more! Oh, Carolyn! Oh, Go 
right. Wasn't it? There's nothing else left for us to believe in, is there? Forgive me, but you are an endless source of amusement. What is it you want? There. <laughs> See what I mean? After all I've put you through and you still don't know. You did all that? No, Mr. Arnold, you did. You denied the warnings, you opened the door, and still you couldn't accept what you'd done. You pondered the deeper meaning of a universal power for good. Sound familiar? What is it you want from me? My accounts. I fill my accounts. You have a will, Mr. Arnold. Strong, sometimes misdirected, but a will. So you have some value even among your kind. By the way, where is that piece of holy excrement? Your cross. It's a thing of God. How could it come here? Don't question me. I have little enough patience. 
That thing shall be destroyed and you are going to see it done. Where is it? Puny fears give birth to it, and you suckle it like swine till it overcomes you. No, I won't. This can last an eternity. It drains nothing from me, causes me no discomfort. I expend nothing to hold you here and place you in pain far greater than anything you could imagine possible. I'll snap your stubborn will. I want that thing. You defy me, you insignificant speck of vomit. <laughs> There is no respect for you here. 